Hi, I want to show you how you can run the Google Chrome operating system inside Windows 8. My name is Bob Flisser, and if you're familiar with Chrome OS, or maybe you just want to try an alternate Windows 8 desktop, then I think you'll like this. You'll be happy to know that running Chrome OS inside Windows does not make any changes to your Windows installation, and this is not a replacement for the Windows operating system. It just runs on top of Windows. And when we're all done, I'll show you something kind of cool about how it works. The first thing you need is to have the Chrome browser installed. I already have it, so I'm just going to launch it here. Now, if you don't have it and you go to Google, you'll probably see a big button down on here saying, hey, why don't you install Google Chrome? If not, you can always go directly to google.com slash Chrome, and there's a big button offering to install it for you. Also for this to work, Chrome needs to be your default browser. Now, of course, every browser wants to be your baby, and if Internet Explorer or Firefox is already your default and you want to keep that, you can always let them be your default later. Now, believe me, they're going to ask you. So how do you set Chrome to be the default if it isn't already? Let's go up here to the upper right corner and click this context menu, and then let's go down towards the bottom and choose Settings. And scroll down if you need to, and you see over here it says Default Browser, and on mine it says the default browser is currently Google Chrome, so there's nothing that I need to do. If on your computer you have a button there that says make of the default, then you need to click that. I'll just close out of settings. Also, it's probably a good idea to make sure that Chrome is updated to the latest version. And again, you can click the little context menu there. Down here, go to About Google Chrome. And right now it tells me it's up to date. If on yours it's not, you'll be able to click here and update it. So we're good to go. I'm just going to close that. Okay, so now we're ready to run Chrome OS. Let's go back to that same little button menu. And you see over here it says Relaunch Chrome in Windows 8 mode. Now, if you don't see that, it probably means you're not running Windows 8. You may be running Windows 7 or, heaven forbid, Vista. And I'm running Windows 8.1, but it should run on Windows 8.0. So I'm going to click that. And notice what happens. It takes over the desktop, and we're at the same web page where we were before when we were on the regular Windows desktop. So let's take a look at what's going on here. In addition to the big old browser, down here on bottom where the regular Windows taskbar is, we have what Chrome calls the shelf. Basically the same idea. And because we're running Chrome here, you see there's the Chrome icon, and underneath you see this tiny little underline. So that's saying, hey, that's actually running. And the shelf doesn't have to be down here on bottom. Put your mouse pointer somewhere down over here and click the right mouse button, and you get this little pop-up for shelf position, and then you could put it on the left or the right side if you want. I'm going to leave it here on the bottom. Also, since we're talking about position, take a look here in the upper right corner, and we have a maximize button, kind of like the Windows maximize button. We could do a regular maximize. You could put it on the left side. You could put it on the right side. I'm just going to leave it again here the way it is. But let's go back to the shelf here. In addition to Chrome, I could run Gmail. I can do a regular Google search. I can go into Google Docs. I'll show you that in a bit. Or I could go into YouTube. Let's say I want to do a Google search. Now, before we do that, take a look up here at the top of the browser. Right now, I have only one tab open. When I go down here and click Google search, you see all it does is it opens up a new browser to Google. So it's the same thing as if I had clicked this little button here, pressed Control T, and then gone to Google manually. But because I have both of these open, now you see, again, I have this little underline here under the Google search button. If I decide I want to close it, I'll just click that close button. Now I'm back to just the regular browser running. Okay, so I mentioned Google Docs. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to click over here on the icon for Google Docs, and it goes right into a Google word processing document. Now, I'm already signed into Google, and you can see over here, I could click, there's my lovely picture, and I don't really need to do anything here. I just want you to see that I was already logged in. I'm just going to type some stuff, and let's say I want to go and save it. Well, where would you save in Google Docs? Well, you'll save in Google Drive. And before I save this, take a look over here on the left side. You see this little blue icon when I roll the mouse over it? It says Open Google Drive. So I'm going to click that, and you see we go into yet another tab in the browser. And this might give you other options here. Here is this 
download Google Drive for PC, and that's a very good extension that makes Google Drive function like a regular hard drive in Windows. I've already installed it, and it's beyond the scope of this video anyway, so I'll just leave it alone. So right now, this is telling me I have an untitled document, which is this. So let me go back here, and I want to save it, and I'll click over here where it says Untitled Document, and I'll give it a name. And click OK. There's the name. Now let's go back to Google Drive. And there it is, that untitled document now has a name. And I could always delete that later on if I want to. But let's go back. In fact, I'm just going to close that tab. Let's go back here. And let's take a look down here in the lower left corner. We talked about the shelf. Here is the Apps button. Kind of looks like a Windows logo button. And if I click that, this shows me apps that are installed. Now, Google Drive, we already have. Here are the built-in apps like Google Docs. Now, Dropbox is a plugin that I installed earlier. Dropbox is just very similar to Google Drive. It's cloud storage. Let's say I want Dropbox to be down here on the shelf, kind of like what you do in Windows. Right click and over here, pin to shelf. And now there it is. Let me just click to get rid of that. So there is Dropbox and I can click it and run it. If later on I decide that maybe I don't want Dropbox on the shelf, I can right click it and then choose unpin. Now I haven't deleted anything because when I go back to the Apps button, Dropbox is still there. One thing you cannot do, though, is you cannot take any of these apps and put them directly on the desktop background, at least not as of this recording today. One other thing you should know is, let's say you've installed a bunch of plugins into Chrome before you ever went into this desktop mode. You might have in the regular Windows desktop some of those apps listed up here in the upper right corner, when you come in here, you might not see them, and you may have to go and reinstall them. Well, let's take a look at apps in there. I'll go back here and I'll click on the Apps button. Let's say there's a specific app that I know I want, that I know I want to install. You see my cursor is flashing here in the Search button. Let's say I want to put Google Plus as an app here. So I'm just going to search for Google Plus, and there it is. It's on the Chrome Web Store, and I'll click here, Add to Chrome. Do I really want to add it? Yes, I'm sure I'll click the Add button. And there it is. Now it's in my Apps button, and if I want, I can right-click and pin it to the shelf, just like I did with Dropbox. You can also browse the store. See over here, the very first icon is the Store button. I'll click that. And you see that opens the Chrome Web Store in a new tab. And here's all this stuff, weather channel and whatnot games, and I can scroll through here. I can do another search right up there see what's popular, what's recommended, and so on, Evernote and whatnot. Okay, I'm not really going to install anything else. I want you to see that's there. So let me just close this tab. And since we are looking at that Apps button here, you might wonder, okay, what if in the middle of this, I want to get back into regular Windows, into the regular Windows desktop? Well, one thing you'll notice is if you roll your mouse down here into the lower left corner, just like always in Windows, you get, or at least in Windows 8.1, you get the little Start button, and I'll click that. And here I'm back in regular Windows Tile World. Whew, that's pretty cold there today, 18 degrees. Now, if I want to get back to the Chrome desktop, a couple of things I can do. But before I do that, this relates to something I said earlier. When we started, I said I'd show you something cool about how Chrome OS inside Windows works. So let me show you the secret. The secret is, is that it's just another Windows 8 application, what you might call a Metro application. Now, I know we're not supposed to call them Metro anymore, but that's what it is. So what I could do is roll the mouse in the upper left corner here of the screen, and I can click, and I'm back in. Once again, let me click on the Windows button. Instead of the upper left corner of the screen, I could roll my mouse down the lower left corner of the screen and bring my mouse pointer up. I'm not clicking anything, I'm just rolling the mouse around. And now I can see, here's the regular Windows desktop, there's the Google Chrome desktop. So I'm actually running both. Let me go to the desktop here. And there we are. And I can actually Alt-Tab, right? Put your thumb on the Alt key, and then with your middle or index finger, tap the Tab key, and you can go back in there. And also, in addition to this little pop-up Start menu, you could also tap the Windows logo key on the keyboard. So you see my mouse is right over here. I'll just tap the key. So tap it once to get into the tile world, and tap it again, and I'm back here. For whatever reason, when you use that Windows logo key to come back into the Chrome desktop, the apps 
menu is always there. So you could just click to get rid of that. Now, when you want to exit Chrome Desktop and go back to Windows like it normally is, there's two ways of doing it. One way is we click the little context button up here and choose over here, relaunch Chrome on the desktop. And that closes it and it brings us back to the same page where we were over here, or at least one of those tabs. Let's go back in because I want to show you the other way. So again, relaunch Chrome in Windows 8. Okay, the other way that you can exit out is because this is a Metro's app, just like any other Metro app, I could put my mouse pointer on the top of the screen. And you see the mouse pointer is now a hand, a grabber hand. I can click and drag down to the bottom of the screen and that closes it also. And if I want to go back to the desktop now, I can just click the desktop tile and I'm back in. And now I can just open up Chrome if I want and it brings me right back into the Chrome desktop because I didn't unlaunch it. So when you use that grabber hand to drag down, you're kind of suspending it. If you click this little button here and relaunch on the desktop, you're not suspending it, you're actually closing it. So I hope you found this useful. And if you want to see my full soup to nuts Windows 8 class, go to bit.ly slash Windows 8 class. And check out my other courses for Microsoft Excel, Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop, Windows 2013, and more at flisser.com. See you next time.